What's up guys, this is Adam with Tech Like a Boss, and today we are talking about using PowerShell versus the command line to automate some tasks. And I'm going to show you in this video how to change a folder, um, all of the files within the folder um, at the same time. And by that, I mean you can change either the file type or you can even rename them uh, all at one time using the command line to really speed up uh, the process and help you uh, get things done quickly. So um, let's go ahead and dig into it. So I'm gonna open up a command prompt real quick and I'm gonna run as administrator. Anytime you run uh, a command prompt and you wanna do anything that is more than just um, looking through directories, you pretty much wanna open it as administrator every time. Um, now I'll open PowerShell the same way as administrator. Really quick, the difference between um, PowerShell and administrator, I'm sorry, PowerShell and command line is that the command line is the old school uh, way of doing batch files and administering Windows um, through uh, that kind of interface. PowerShell itself is an advanced version of command line, but it also incorporates um, scripting and .NET into it. And it allows you to administer Windows much better than command prompt could possibly do. And it also allows you to do things like pipe. Um, it lets you have a lot more complicated scripts um, to do a lot of other things that there's no way for command prompt to uh, to do. Now, command prompt in itself is an advanced version of a DOS prompt. So, you know, the iterations have, have changed over the years, but PowerShell has been around a while. Um, it's, it's very helpful. In fact, I'm not even going to use command prompt because I can go to command prompt directly uh, just by typing in CMD in um, PowerShell. So see there, now I am actually using the command prompt from within PowerShell right now, just from typing in that command. So um, you can do that. You don't ever even have to open command prompt and you can have the benefits of both uh, just right from PowerShell. So one of the cool things um, that you can do with this is you can rename um, all of your files in a directory at the same time. So I don't know how many of you, I'm sure there's a lot, that let's say I have this season one of Superman and Lois. I have the first 11 uh, videos here. And I'm not going to tell you how I got that, but I got them. <laughs> and you can, you have a, an imagination, I'm sure. And I'm going to look at uh, the details here and expand the name. And so, <clears throat> as you can see, I have my file name extensions turned on right here in view uh, at the top of my Explorer. And anytime you want to see the extensions, .mkv, um, that's what you do. Turn uh, this checkbox on. And <clears throat> let's say that um, my video player or my TV, whatever, it won't play MKV files. It'll only play MP4 files. Not necessarily any different kind of codec needed, just a different file type. So if I wanted to change these, I could go into every one individually and I could click change MP4 from MKV. Now, 11 files, that's not gonna take very long, but you can imagine having a ton of files in here. Um, you can imagine having a ton of pictures, a ton, you know, whatever. And that is not feasible. That takes forever. So if you want to save all of that time, all you have to do is click on the, um, the path for this folder, do control C and copy it, and then go back here to my command prompt, right click, and it's going to copy automatically. You don't need to control V, just right click. And in fact, before you do that, you have to type in CD, meaning change directory. There we go. Now I'm in that directory. So now I want to change all these files. So every file, I'm going to do REN for rename. 
space star dot m k v. All right, so that means every file, that's what that star means, every single file that ends with mkv space, I'm going to change it to star dot mp4. See that? So I'm taking all the mkv files, that's what the star means, and I'm changing it, just that's what it means when you put that space in there. What are you changing it to? Star dot mp4. All right, let's see what happens. There they are. So now all 11 files are MP4s, just like that. A couple seconds versus a couple minutes. Um, and you can imagine all the applications where this could benefit you. All right, so I'm just going to change that back. And <clears throat> now, let's say um, I made a, you know, typo, or let's say I downloaded a bunch of files and the last you know, a few characters or the, the end of it is um, a bunch of stupid stuff I want to take off and I want to rename all of my files um, the same thing. Select all my files in the directory, right click, and then do rename. Now, I could take off, let's say I take off all of this and I just have Superman and Lois. Um, now, when I do that, what it's going to do is change all of these to Superman and Lois, but it's going to put in parentheses 1 through 11. Watch. See that? So now I still have all 11, um, but they are just named in a different way. But I was able to do that, keep the first section of the name, and then by renaming all of them, because it's not going to have a duplicate name, it renames them one through 11 in sequential order. Um, so that's cool. All right, guys, and the last thing I want to show you in this video is how to make a batch file. A lot of people think that making batch files are something only for experts, something only for people who you know make their living um, in PowerShell or whatever, and that's not true at all. You don't have to know anything other than what I just showed you um, to make a batch file and to do it. Ba basically, what batch files are is uh, these commands that I just put in, except um, they're in a file, you open the file and it runs the commands automatically. So it batches your files together, for lack of a better term. So let me show you how to make one real quick. Just open up Notepad. And I, all I want to do is um, basically tell it what I want it to do. So, all right, I'm going to rename these from MKV to MP4. So let's just go up here and let's take our first command and then enter and then let's take our next command and enter then press enter and then at the end of the batch file you want to put pause that will let you see what you've done um, and it won't, the window won't just disappear automatically. Another thing you want to do is turn echo on. And what that does, put that first. That way, whatever messages you get from your commands, you can see them on the, uh, the window. All right, so now all you have to do is save as. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. And you want to save it as whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, let's just say batch. And then once it's saved, you want to go over here to it and change the extension from txt to bat for batch file. Easy as that. And now look, it changes the icon. All right, so now I'm going to run this. Right click, run as administrator. You see there? And look at that. Just like that, I made a batch file that did exactly what I was doing earlier, changed all my MKBs to MP4s, and it took two seconds to make it. Now you just run that file and it makes the change. Now, obviously it only does it in this directory because that's the directory that I specified in the batch file. You right click and go to edit, you can see that. That's where I told it to go. But that's it, that's all it takes to make a batch file. Now, obviously this is very rudimentary, it's very elementary, and you know, there's tons of things you can do with batch files, 
But the fact is, you don't have to be a genius to make them, and they can speed up a lot of processes that you want to do in Windows. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click like below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And if you are wondering how um, to do certain things with uh, changing file names and changing formats and um, changing codecs and all of that, I got this video right here. I want you to click on it, take a look at it, um, and see if that helps you out in understanding all of that uh, mumbo jumbo and trying to figure all that out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been Adam with Tech Like a Boss, and I will see you in the next one.